Alright guys, welcome to a video. So here's the thing. I have been a Twitch streamer for a little bit now here and here and there uh, and I've always used Streamlabs OBS. But here's the problem. The computer that I have, it has a great GPU. Well, it's a pretty mid to high range GPU. I have a 1070 Ti. But the problem is my CPU is an i5-9600K and that basically means that I can't stream using the H.264 codec. It just slows down my computer too much and I basically I have to use the NVEC codec to stream. For those of you who don't know, the NVEC codec is what NVIDIA supplies in their GPUs in order to encode videos. Uh, if you've ever used NVIDIA highlights or NVIDIA shadow play, this is using the NVEC codec. So the cool thing about uh, S-Lobs, uh, Streamlabs OBS, is that it allows you to actually use that NVEC codec to encode your stream. The problem with this, however, is that it puts a bit of strain onto your, your GPU. So this is really good if you have a decent GPU, like a higher tier GPU, and your CPU is not that great. Kind of like the situation that I am in. So the problem that you'll run into while using this setup is that you won't be able to hit higher frame rates, and you will be a little bit more GPU bound than normal. So what I mean by this is that if you're playing a game, say Modern Warfare for example, if you're playing at a higher frame rate than 60 FPS, your stream will start to drop frames. This is not exactly ideal. So what you have to do is either limit your in-game FPS to either 60 or you have to lower your graphic settings an insane amount in order for your GPU to be able to keep up with your stream and with the game. And so what I thought was, you know what? I have an old GTX 750 Ti just in my cord wall over there. What happens if I plug that into my extra PCI Express slot on my motherboard? I looked around and I could not find anyone else who had done this. I asked on some, uh, some computer forums that I'm in and basically everyone was like, I don't know. Apparently no one's ever tried this before. So I want what I want to show you today is how to set up a multiple GPU streaming setup. So the first issue that you'll run into when you have when you have multiple GPUs, graphics processing units or graphics cards as they're most commonly called, is your power. You will need to make sure that your graphics processors, both of them, don't draw too much power. That's one of the reasons that I'm using an old 750 Ti of mine as opposed to um, the old 1050 Ti that I have because the 1050 Ti will draw more power and I just really don't, I don't feel safe doing that to my system. The solution for me was to use the old 750 Ti that I have. I don't actually know, I can't seem to find any actual 750 Ti's on Amazon so I don't know the actual price uh, as of what they might come out to be for some reason I can't, I can't find them on Amazon. So this will probably work if you have any older uh, GTX card. Uh, it doesn't have to be a 750 Ti, it could be literally any card. The reason I'm using a 750 Ti is because I literally just had it sitting in my cord wall. From this point on we're gonna go into Streamlabs and I'm gonna show you how to do all that. So what we're gonna do is go into our settings. So down here we're gonna go into our settings then we're going to our output and this is where you're going to see all of your settings for streaming and recording. So you need to be in the advanced output mode. The big thing here is your encoder. So as you can see, there's software uh, X264. There's also NVEC and then there's NVEC new. NVEC new is technically for the newer GPUs, but you can use it if you have the 10 series as well like I do. Or apparently if you've got the 7 series like I do. So what you're going to do is set your hardware to the NVEC. I like to do constant bitrate, um, and then my internet's really good, so I do a bitrate of 6,000. If yours isn't as good, uh, then you can definitely lower that and make that easier. So I have the quality preset and the profile high. Here is the big thing, GPU. This is actually implemented in OBS. I don't know why if you are not expected to actually have more than one GPU, but this is where you select which GPU the NVEC codec will be sourced from. The big thing to know here is that zero is your default. Okay, so for me, 
my GPU that I currently have in slot one, that to use that GPU, I'll have to put zero. So if zero is put down, my 1070 Ti will be the one that's sourcing the NVEC codec. But because I wanna use my 750 Ti, I'm gonna put one. Okay, that's extremely important. If you don't do that, then it will just keep using your main GPU as the, um, the NVEC codec for the, for the NVEC codec. So the other thing is that you can go over to recording and you can set all this stuff up. It doesn't really matter. Um, I have a the recording path, the recording format. I have MP4 so I can record multiple audio tracks. Recording. NVEC new. That's super important. Then you can go down to your CQP levels or your CPU key uh, as for your rate control, that uh, is a lot more, it's a lot closer to lossless than you can get with uh, constant bitrate or variable bitrate. Lossless is just a little bit too much. I don't need that much. Uh, it's just a little too clear, if that makes sense. Uh, it's a, an extremely high file size and it's just not that much better looking than if you just choose CQP and choose something like 16. So the way that it works is that it starts off at 20, it'll give you a default of 20. The closer to zero you go, the better the quality. Uh, zero is lossless. So for me, 16 is more than enough. It's It looks amazing. Preset set to quality, profile set to high, and then always make sure that you have your GPU set to one. That's extremely important. That's literally it. I want this to be relatively short. I don't want to be going for a long time, but that is... That is literally how you use a second GPU. This is not SLI. You just plug them into the motherboard. That's all you have to do. Make sure your drivers are updated and you should not have an issue. I don't have anything plugged into the back of my 750 Ti. The only issue that I've had with this setup is that heat. Uh, you do have to worry a little bit because the way that I have my mine set up is that the 750, I, 750 Ti is right below the 1070 Ti. So my 1070 Ti gets a little bit hotter than it normally does. All I have to do is adjust the fan curve and that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy this little short tutorial. I hope this works for you. Um, I, I really hope that this helps out and I would love to hear some feedback. If you guys have tried this, if you think it works. So, here, so here's some recordings that I've made uh, from one of my streams and you can tell the quality is basically lossless. You can't really tell the difference, especially with YouTube's uh, downgrade. It, it, it likes to take footage and run them through a dumpster. Here, I'll leave you with that, and I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you next time. Bye! What? The heck was she looking at? Lame sauce? Nailed it.